If you've ever changed the shocks on a pickup truck with leaf springs built in the last few decades, you may have noticed something odd about the way the left and right rear shocks are mounted. Hello everyone, I'm Hubert Mace and this is Suspensions Explained. Changing the rear shocks on a pickup truck is usually a pretty easy affair. There's a lot of room underneath, the shocks are usually easy to get to. If you've ever had to do this on a truck with a leaf spring rear suspension, you may have noticed something odd about the way the left and right shocks are mounted. In many cases, they are not symmetrical, meaning they're not mounted in a mirror image of each other left and right. One shock will be mounted on the front side of the axle and tip slightly forward, while the other will be mounted on the back side of the axle and tip slightly rearward. These vehicles have what are called staggered shocks. We'll start by looking at what happens to a live axle during hard acceleration and braking. Under acceleration, the torque of the engine is trying to rotate the wheel forward, trying to propel the vehicle forward. At the same time though, the torque reaction is trying to spin the axle in the opposite direction. The only thing keeping the axle from spinning are the leaf springs, since these form the suspension of the vehicle. But leaf springs are not very stiff, otherwise they wouldn't make very good springs. So as the axle twists, they bend into an S-shape, like this. At some point though, if we accelerate hard enough, or if there is a bump in the road, or if we are on a more slippery surface, like a wet road, the tire will lose traction, and the spring will snap back to straight. When the tire regains traction, the whole cycle starts over again, and this can happen over and over again, sometimes several times per second, and can cause a heavy shaking in the vehicle. The shaking can cause damage, with trim pieces falling off or welds cracking. You may have heard the term axle tramp or axle hop. This is what they're talking about. Sometimes the left and right wheels will go through the cycle out of phase, and you can get this axle hopping or tramping back and forth. Under braking, the same thing can happen, but in the opposite direction. Now let's draw in some dampers. If the left and the right dampers are attached to the axle in the same way, let's say we have a bracket that sticks off the back of the axle here, and the dampers are mounted to that bracket. The top of the damper mounted to the frame, and the bottom mounted to that bracket. Now, as the axle winds up, the spring is still trying to form this S shape, but the damper is resisting that motion. So what happens now, is the spring will form so that the damper stays in the same place. Effectively, the left and the right dampers that are spaced uh, apart, left and right in the vehicle, form that the axle is trying to rotate around because the dampers don't want to move. They, don't, they resist that motion through the damping force. So therefore, as the axle is trying to wind up, it's trying to pivot around the line going through the bottom of those two dampers. Now, let's instead take this damper and let's move one of them to the front of the axle. So now we have a bracket on the front of the axle and now we have another damper here. And it doesn't matter if you use the left damper or the right damper. Let's say that this is the right damper. So now the sides of the axle. Now as the axle tries to twist, there isn't a line that the axle can pivot around. So therefore, what happens is, one of these dampers is forced to stroke, therefore providing a damping force and damping out the motion of the axle. And this is why we mount the dampers in a staggered way. One side in front of the axle, one side behind the axle. It reduces the axle hop and tramp significantly. So far, we've talked about leaf spring suspensions, which are typical in most pickup trucks these days, but were much more common in cars a few decades ago. In fact, a whole industry grew up in the 60s and 70s around stopping leaf spring axle tramp. These aren't the only suspensions that suffer from axle hop and tramp, though. Any solid axle suspension can have the same hop or tramp problem, depending on the way they are mounted to the car. A typical four-link solid axle suspension can have tramp and hop problems if it uses soft bushings for a quieter ride or if the engine has a lot of power. Fox Body Mustangs and Thunderbirds had a problem with hop and tramp back in the 80s, which is why later years of that platform got what are called quad shocks. These are an additional set of shocks mounted horizontally between the axle and the body. All they do is dampen any rotation of the axle caused by acceleration and braking. They do nothing for normal vertical suspension motion. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that subscribe and notification button, and we'll see you next time for more Suspensions Explained.